Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a kitchen cupboard organization and I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. If you are new, my name is Madeline and I have a two-year-old toddler. So keeping my kitchen organized has not really been on top of my priority list, but we are tackling that today. And I've actually bought a few things here and there for organizing storage. Um, a few of them are from Amazon, a few of them are just from some bargain shops. I'm going to link everything down below that I can. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started and tackle this uh, messy kitchen i actually started by putting away my dishes because um, i had quite a few here on the counter and i'm also trying to wash my um, makeup dividers that i had in my vanity i actually saw this on emily norris's channel so i thought this was a great tip so i'm gonna give it a try and see how it works um, and i'm just going to uh, fill up my dishwasher and then move on to the cupboards Here are some dry food um, storage items that I got. Um, some of them are from Ikea, some of them are from Amazon. And I'm going to start with this cupboard here and I have a couple of containers, um, these white ones from Ikea. And these are pretty much our um, snacky and cooking um, cupboards. I'm just taking everything out in true Marie Kondo style because anything that doesn't spark joy is gonna go. <laughs> and I did want to give um, all the cupboards a good wipe as well. So that's what I'm doing right here. This corner cabinet gets quite crazy, I'm not gonna lie, because uh, we have cereal boxes and snacks for us at the top. And then we have cooking bits, rice, um, pasta, anything like that. So, so everything kind of got thrown in there and I'm just going to take it all out, give it a good wipe and sort through everything. I do have in here these little shelf thingies. These are so handy for organizing things like your cans or uh, just random bits that are going to be way easier to spot in your cupboard this way. I got those from Amazon and I will link them below. Everything that you see here on my countertop is from that cupboard. Like it is crazy how much uh, gets stuffed in there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, organize everything. I'm going to put all of the dry foods in these storage containers. So I have um, pasta ones, I'm going to put some rice um, in there, I'm going to put flour in one of them and then I have this uh, one that I'm going to store all of my tea bags in because I had about three or four uh, tea boxes in there that were just taking up space. So I'm just going to put all of the tea bags in one canister and that actually stays on my counters. I also have things like ground almonds that I use for my toddler's pancakes um, and for ours as well. So I'm going to store that in there as well and also going to fill up my sugar canister and just kind of go around and see what else I can, um, you know, stuff in these storage containers. We were actually out of uh, regular pasta, so I left one of these storage uh, containers um, empty because I'm going to fill it up once I come back from the grocery store. I always feel like storage containers like this make a huge difference and it definitely make your cupboards look more uh, Pinterest-like. <laughs> I'm going to start uh, stacking up things on these little shelves. So I've got some uh, rice um, and some pasta at the back, um, just some kind of things that we don't use too often um, or just for cooking. So I, um, on the second shelf, I've put some chopped tomatoes, uh, breadcrumbs um, like for cooking, and then I have some beans and things like that at the front. And then here on this side is going to be more like snacky um, breakfast type of things. So I have um, flax seeds at the back, I have uh, Nutella and almond butter, uh, hot chocolate, honey, anything like that. 
A couple of weeks ago, my husband tried doing our online grocery shop and he actually ordered this huge box of Cheerios that doesn't fit in our cupboards. And it was so annoying because it was always out. So now I'm just going to cut the top part of it uh, with scissors so that it fits in there. <laughs> and then I'm just layering back all of the cereal boxes and uh, things like that. This white basket is from Primark Home and this one stores pretty much our snacks for myself and my husband. So that's just gonna go at the top um, and yeah, that's pretty much this part of the cabinet's done. And I'm going back to that first one because I'm going to organize Victor's snacks. So he has some uh, squeeze pouches and just some veggie straws and things like that. And then I have some rice cakes for him and some oat cakes, which he really loves. If you've watched my previous What's for Dinner videos, then you will know that I have this um, white container from Ikea that I use for all of my condiments and oils and things like that that I use for cooking a lot because I find that it's really easy to just take it out uh, when I'm cooking. And I actually brought with me these canisters from Romania because I really, really love them and I didn't want to leave them behind. So now I'm just filling those up with some uh, condiments because that makes it really easy to have them on the counter uh, when you're cooking. And that frees up a little space in that white container because I do want to go and get some more condiments because I feel like I'm quite limited in my choice. Like I don't really um, venture out of my comfort zone and I really want to try and use uh, different spices for my cooking. At the top of the microwave... At the top of the microwave, we just have some things that I really want to keep out of reach, like um, dishwasher tablets and dishwasher salt and some liquid and things like that. And we also have this little box, um, this gray one, which is also from Primark Home. And that pretty much stores our uh, medicine, like Nurofen and just random things like that, that I really don't want uh, Victor to reach. My plates and cups, uh, mugs, cabinet was not too bad, but I just wanted to kind of reorganize it a tiny bit. And I actually have in here these two um, organizers as well. These are really, really handy for things like mugs because um, otherwise I feel like there would be a lot of um, open space above the mugs, which is going to be unused. So this way it kind of doubles up your uh, cupboard space and I think it's really, really handy. A lot of my mugs were actually in the dishwasher, so that's why it's quite empty in here as well. The cutlery drawer, I just always hate organizing this and it gets out of hand so easily. One good tip, if you cannot clean properly the drawers, you can just um, get your vacuum and vacuum them up. Um, if needed, that's going to be really easy to do. So I'm just kind of reorganizing um, everything and putting it back um, in its place. In the second drawer, I have some random bits. I have my uh, coffee pods in here and I actually realized I need to go order some more because I'm running out. But that empty white space um, on the left is usually for my coffee pods for my Nespresso. I also have some baking sheet and aluminum foil and things like that in there. And I have these two uh, sets of uh, Ziploc bags from Ikea. These are really handy to have for snacks and uh, keeping things in the freezer and things like that. I did this declutter before um, having a grocery shop. So this is going to be really handy for me to see what I actually need to buy. For example, I just realized I don't really have any uh, potatoes left. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy some, but I'm going to clear this um, out. Yes, I just kept a couple of onions that were still good. And then at the bottom, I only have some um, art supplies for Victor and some Tupperware containers. So I didn't really have to do a lot in there. In this cupboard, I have a three tier uh, type of storage. Um, and this is really handy for pots and pans. That's what I use it for. But I do know it's really good for plates or anything like that. It really helps keep them organized and it really helps when you need to take one out. And then at the bottom, I have the lids for uh, some of the pots. Um, I have some cooking stuff. I'm actually going to put the kettle in here because I find that we don't use it that often. We're not really big uh, tea drinkers. We're mostly coffee lovers um, in this house. I'm gonna give this cupboard a little bit of a wipe. And then in that basket um, at the bottom, I have my um, food processor, like a blender with um, all the accessories for it. 
This under the sink area is giving me nightmares, so I'm just gonna <laughs> reorganize it really quickly. I don't really have a proper storage um, system in place here. I just have this box that I'm using for all of the small bits. Yeah, maybe in time I will get some sort of system in here, but for now uh, this will have to do. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much I love these white baskets um, for things like tea towels and cleaning uh, cloths and things like that. I have some bags at the bottom as well. These are from a Wilco, but I do know you can find them on Amazon as well. Finally, I'm just giving the counters a little bit of a cleanup with my method spray. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I hope you are excited for more organizing videos coming up very soon. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! I'm done.